Hello everybody, Georgia Burns back. Hope you had a nice new year and everything is well with you. And I'm here today to show you how I made this card. This card is made with a new stamp set coming out on the 5th of January, forever and always. And I am just going to be using this stamp set. And I've got some in the cover. I don't know what that is. I'll get it out afterwards. So I'm going to be using that stamp, the big flower, and a leaf. Um, I'm not actually using stamping the leaf today because I've already got a load cut out. Some from this stamp set and some from another. And I'll be using that die cut out the flower. For the sentiment I've used peaceful moments and I'm just gonna stamp wishing you every happiness this special day will bring and I've heat embossed that. For my card I have not got a card base let me get a card base That would help, wouldn't it, if I had a card base. So I've got a card base here of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and burnished. I have a piece of black and white striped paper at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. This is out of the bumblebee series from last year. Now I cased this card out of the spring and summer catalogue and their backing paper was black and white striped but with a yellow stripe in it which is the DSP to go with this stamp set. Um, obviously I don't have it so I just got my marker pen and I'll show you what I've done piece of paper, my ruler and my dark dark mango melody. Hmm. Didn't realise I used that but do that and then I just do it this way to be easier and just score the line on each of the white bits. Easy if I do it this way. And put my yellow line in. Obviously theirs is a lot different from mine but I need to and everything. But I just wanted to do the card and you make do with what you got, don't you? Turn it around so I can get up here. And you still can't see the yellow lines, but they're there. And there's too much light here for you to see. Aha. Uh -huh. There you can just see the yellow lines. Right, so we've got that. That's that, that's that. Did I say what size this was? Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I've got a piece of vellum here by two and seven eighths by four and five eighths. That will just sit on the top like that. I have a stitched square piece, and this is in Rococo Rose 
and this is the second largest stitch uh, square die and I've also got two flowers already stamped, coloured and cut out which we will do another one now the leaves I did I did loads when I did made the first this card and I cut them all out and obviously didn't use them all because I thought they were a bit small so I had a look in my maybe one day box and I put a couple of big ones where I had spaces because I'd already stuck these down so I thought oh well I'll use some bigger ones on this card these have actually come out of because I had to go through my stamp sets to find out um, humming along they were their stamps and I've got some little ones left so right didn't do nothing inside so I've got a scrap of white here I have my pink flower look it's gone pink I'll soak it in some bleach after this oh great not stuck on the and we'll just stamp that down like that I'm not worried about that. that's where I stopped my finger because that's going to get coloured in if I hadn't stuck my finger on it to um, push it down that wouldn't have happened right now then colour this in I've got light soft suede and all I did with this is just went up into the middle here and coloured it in Then I got my dark Rococo Rose and just scribbled in round the centre. Just like that. Nothing posh or anything like that. And then I coloured the flower in in Rococo Rose, uh, light. I'm just going around the edge. I forgot these bits that folded up I also did them in the dark just two bits that folded up and then just coloured each petal in
and that is my flower coloured in. And then I cut it out. using the matching dies which is here now when I cut mine out before I actually use my big shot oh, it does fit so I'm not worried now place your die evenly on there and cut it out And then we have our nice flower. And then we'll get rid of that and oops, stray leaf. Put that back in there while I'm in here. Oh, it's the word of love. I was tampering with, playing with the card and never used it. Right. Now we're going to do some heat embossing. So I need to bring in my Versamark, my embossing body, clean it up, pick it up carefully, get rid of all that dust. All right, stamp. Ink up the stamp with a mark really nicely and then stamp it in the middle. That looks straight, I hope it is. Oh, I've got a bit of paper, I've got new white embossing powder, a long last, of my eldest daughter. She gave me um, an Amazon voucher to get crafty bits for her words. So I got a few crafty bits. Oh, put the lid on that. Let's I need to get a pot for my white embossing powder. I prefer them in dishes or storage tins. Right, I'm going to heat up my um, heat gun. I forgot what it was called, my heat tool. Let it to a nice temperature. Find my tweezers. Right, I'm going to heat underneath first. Turn it over. As you can see, it was already starting to heat. You might not have seen it. Just wrap around my tripod leg. There we are. Right, I just shoot the uh, protected lid off my tweezers. They're very sharp, these. And I like to keep the lid on them because, knowing me, I'd stab myself. Right, 
that's that all done all come out really nice and clear so what we've got left to do now is to stick this to our card base right I'll receive vellum you can only glue in places well let's stick this on first so this is going to go over here nice and straight and then we can glue the vellum at least at that bit and here where the flowers are going to go and we just want to place that evenly on the card bit, paper and then we're going to stick this on the card base My husband must be bored with his TV program. Snoring his head off. Right. Now then, to place the flowers, I glued down one of them. So one will go there, and that's the one that's glued down. And these two are on dimensionals. So let's get our dimensionals. And this one, I just need them like that. This one needs them all over. that now that the sticker's off. So now I need some leaves for this one. I'm going to put a big one and a small one in this corner like that. So I am just going to glue the middle of the flower. That way, I can put my leaves underneath with no problem. That way. And we need a big leaf. just over this corner and a small leaf and that is going to go like that there shouldn't be there. Like that. So take this off. Try not to cover them words up. Yeah. 
take these off. And put some more leaves around, so I'm going to put a big one in there with a small one. And small one under there. Not right, any more small ones. No. Nope. I mean, you can put under as many. Uh, leaves as you want. Oh, there's a small one. Yeah, I'm going to put that one there. do now is add some gems. Now I have got these um, black dots. They're a little bit bigger than them ones. I got. I cannot find the ones I use for them but I think I actually run out. So I'm just putting on these bigger dots. Um, like that. That is my card. Hope you like it. Oh, I did put one inside. I just didn't stamp anything on it. Because it can actually be used for any kind of celebration, really. So something could be written inside for it. Or, like me, I'm going to use it for something. I will stamp something inside. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.